Joshua Phillips, award-winning senior uh, investigative journalist from the Epoch Times. He has been spending the last over 15 years dedicated to helping the American people understand the CCP's infiltration. So I just got back from uh, South Korea, yeah. and I was investigating the United Front Work Department. Yeah. Now, people, you might have heard about these Chinese police stations. You might have heard about the Chinese student spies. The United Front is what oversees a lot of those operations. And the way it works, basically, through the capture of the civil society. Mm. The CCP, they want to capture the academics, the journalists, the politicians, the influencers of a society. And the theory is that if the CCP can seize the civil society, mm -hmm. the CCP seizes that society from the current government. And wow. they, they use this system to create vassal states. They use this to conquer countries. Um, I uncovered not only the United Front, but also the elements of the United Front tied in with the Chinese mafia. Uh, the triads, really influential in New York. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they do a lot of the human trafficking, the drug trafficking, mm -hmm. and they also do the liaison work with government officials. Mm -hmm. They have branches working with our police mm -hmm. to the point where they even wow. run some of, the, some of the police advisory boards are run by the CCP. Wow. Yeah, they, so let me be yeah. clear. The CCP's infiltration um, has reached the U.S. Yep. law enforcement agencies. And especially when it comes to law enforcement in Chinese communities. If, let's say, NYPD yeah. has to investigate a case in Chinatown or yeah. Flushing in New York, you know, the other big Chinese community there, they'll oftentimes go to these police advisory boards, mm -hmm. which have Chinese agents working on them, and the Chinese agents will be like, no, don't go after those guys. They'll give them false information, and they'll use that to protect their own operation.